Tata Vadas, um, Lata, uh, you, you've been working the phone lines, you've been working on this as well. Tell us, what are you picking up? You know, sale is sitting on a big debt, but this is very, very interesting. Actually, you hit the nail on the head, Nigel. Uh, ultimately, it is going to be how much of a haircut people yes. want on the debt. So that's uh, uh, that's the story, really. JSW Steel has offered, we understand, to pick up about 20, uh, 2,250 crores out of the nearly 10,000 crore, it's about 9,900 plus some 300 crore of uh, sundry debts. Uh, so basically 22% of the debt is what they are offered to pick up, offered to take, which means another uh, what 70% plus is left uh, to be uh, you know, written off as unsustained or whatever, you know, uh, to be paid as redeemable preference shares, which basically means you will not get it for another 12 years, which will make the money pretty meaningless. The uh, story not is not really one of joy. It means nobody has the guts to write down debt. Exactly. I mean, the ministry is asking sale to do it because nobody wants the prospect of taking on the responsibility uh, of telling a defaulter, okay, I'm excusing so much debt. Basically, it means I'm doing a favor to uh, Sajjan General. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm allowing him to buy something uh, and I'm excusing 70% uh, of the debt. That's what it amounts to. Now, the, a cool-headed uh, analysis of that is that it is unsustainable debt and nobody is going to take it at 10,000 crore. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not easy for a government uh, to say that I'm sitting back and uh, uh, doing a favor to an industrialist, even if it is actually the industrialist who may be doing a favor by rescuing uh, uh, an ailing plant. Mm. It will look like you have given away a plant and cancelled the debt. Uh, that is something which uh, uh, the banker is not willing to be seen as doing and uh, the uh, political leadership is not willing to be seen as doing, which is what uh, explains why the bad bank will never come. Basically, what are you saying? You're going to take away people's debt, cancel people's debt, and that's not an easy political decision. It's extremely difficult. It's morally hazardous. So, uh, the, the, the net net for the banking system and for the steel industry, I wouldn't see this as necessarily good news. Yes. We are not able to do a transaction. Exactly. That uh, uh, that is the point that we have to take home. And as uh, Nigel correctly pointed out, uh, sale also is running an EBITDA which is not meeting its own interest. Exactly. Several quarters. So uh, its ability to take is uh, going to be, you know, extend the debt uh, exactly. further and because the debtor is government, you know, you can go on extending the debt. Uh, government is a good credit, is a good creditor. That's what's going to happen. They're not going to get back the money. It will probably just get uh, kicked, the can gets kicked down the lane. That. That's what it looks like. It's not necessarily good news for the industry itself. This is not a competitive bidding or something exactly. like that. This is really, uh, you know, we have as a nation, bankers and the political leadership have to take a decision on cancelling debt which is unsustainable. It's always a morally hazardous job. And uh, this once it is not getting done. You know, Lata, I, I, just a couple of other points. I go through Monet Ispat's uh, audit report as well very, very closely. You know, there was a particular iron ore inventory that suddenly in the next year, the next time they declared it, it went sharply lower. So I don't know what's going on on that front as well. Because if we have iron ore... We have iron ore reserves in the Odisha... Uh, uh, mining firm. So uh, that is perhaps the reason why sale may find, after all sale doesn't have that much of backward linkages. It might make sense for sale mm. because of that I know facility that uh, Monetis Path has. You have a problem Lata even over there, I'll tell mm. you why. Because uh, Bushan Steel, they have uh, close to around I think 30% stake in that same I know firm that you're talking about. And I'll tell you what, the Monty family, they have another 25% over yes. there. So close to around 55% is between Bushan Steel and, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, and the Monty family. So, getting an indirect access, that's fantastic. You know, that'll be very, very good because the, the INO plan that we're talking about that had those mines, it never really came on screen. But just let's focus on, let's focus on, uh, on the monitor spot. I think we have 